everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today i've got a video for you it's kind of taking me right back right back into the past when i first started my youtube i found so many things that i literally just thought i'll never use that i'll never use that that can go that can go put that in that box put that in that box so now i'm sorting out my boxes because i'm loving collage at the minute i used to love doing collage um quite a few years ago um I used to collect all like old bits of paper and you know sewing patterns and stuff like that so now it's it's called fodder which is also food livestock but in the art world it's not it's basically a big box of stuff um i'm i think that's about what it's what it's meant to be a big box of stuff which as you can see i have a big box of stuff <clears throat> now this isn't the only big box of stuff i've got i actually have six of these i don't know if you can tell where it comes out this is um a drawer in a tool unit and i have six of these drawers filled with some of this stuff some of it's new some of it's old but i just kind of wanted to come on and um just sort of like show you how to make elements uh for you know little collage pieces and stuff like that for your art journaling or even your scrapbooking card making anything like that one of the one of my favourite parts of art journaling is actually making the focal point or making an element to sort of go inside the art journal. So recently, there is a picture on my Instagram of these. I recently made these elements out of my fodder. And um, I'll link my Instagram down below if you want to go and have a more detailed look. But I made I made these just nothing. That's one of the Dina Wakeley stamps, some music paper, some stickers that I've got. I did just a load of inking and stamping on some book pages. And I'm one of my favourite things to do at the minute. It's like the best paper ever is I don't know if you can. Can you see that that is actually uh, squared paper, like graph paper, math paper. So my I. I Ha honestly i've got so much stuff in this craft room it's unreal but when you think 19 years of crafting you're gonna collect collect some stuff it's like a vintage museum in here so this is one one of the elements that i made and literally just a piece of canvas and some inking and do you know what i love about making these is you don't have to think about it you know when you're in those moods where you sort of you sit at your craft table and you you find yourself sitting there for 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes and then before you know it, you're like why am i in here what am i going to do you don't have to think about these it's literally grab yourself some book papers get your sprays get your watercolors get your gouache anything you want your acrylics anything you like and just stamp emboss and spray and fingerprint and just do what you want it doesn't matter because like my gel prints you're gonna with these you're gonna rip parts of it up anyway so even if you look at the whole page and think oh my god it's awful start looking at sections of it because you'll probably change your mind and think mm, i really like that section and i really like that section so yeah you don't have to think about it it's literally just an easy project so like i said this is one of the dina wakeley stamps i used all her stamps in all of these so that's one and i mean the sewing honestly don't care i don't care i really am not bothered about it being straight that's not what it is about this was literally just about the fact that i didn't particularly want to use glue so i just got my sewing machine and sewed all the elements on wherever the elements were going and yeah and i went a bit off track but don't care so 
it happens it doesn't have to be perfect and again different kinds of stitches some stickers book papers bit of canvas in the back but this one was a little, a little bit closer i mean you know fray it fray the canvas pull it out because all those bits it's all texture it all makes a difference on your page and you could just literally you know just imagine sort of like do all your backgrounds on your art journal and then use that as a focal point so i've got that one i've got this one and they're all different because they're all different parts of the book that I ripped up. So they're all different colours. And this one, you know, I was just playing with my stitching. I was like, oh, what's that stitch? So, yeah, played with it, stitched it. And this one just went round in a circle. Yeah. This one bit of zigzag trying to work it so that i didn't stitch it over one of the words and again i mean look at the texture in that background you know there's gloss sprays on there and like i said none of it's glued down none of it's glued down it's just all sewn together which i love absolutely love and this one i'd literally <laughs> i'd learn um i'm not a sewer I don't use my sewing machine. I mean, I can make an envelope cushion and I make fabric pumpkins, but that's about it. I only use the straight stitch. So I realised that if I pressed a button on the front of my sewing machine, I could literally go backwards and forwards. And I was like, ah, oh. so I did. I went backwards and forwards. So even I'm learning, even I'm learning. And then I had a bit left over and I was like, oh, why not? I'm going to sew. So I sewed and I made a bird. Stick that, draw some legs on, get a bit of coloured paper and a beak. And I've got, I've got a bird. Have a canvas, a fabric bird. I think this is canvas or is it calico? I think it's calico because it's a bit thicker, a bit thinner than canvas. But yeah. And then while I was there, oh, I made another one. I made another one. See? And then while I was there, I had the sheets for these left over. So I put them all together and I sewed a canvas journal. See? Can you see where it's, I've gone backwards and forwards? Because I'm like, yeah, see, I can go backwards and forwards now. I know the reverse button. And then I have a canvas journal. That, I could put that on the front. I don't even have to stick it on. If I actually knew where my teeny attacher was, I would use that. But I, I don't know where it's gone. I've lost it in my TARDIS. So, yeah. I'm going to have to find that. But I, I would actually, I would staple that on now. It doesn't have to be straight. doesn't have to be perfect. That can be the front cover of your of your journal. Get some gesso in there to strengthen up the pages. Or some embossing powder. They'll strengthen up the pages. If you just, you know, put a load of them, get your embossing powder and just boop, 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 And then put some embossing powder over it. Heat up. Away you go. Heavy gesso. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Modelling paste. And then I've got myself a little fabric journal. Um, I've got two because I overcut like I normally do. So I actually have two journals and I don't care. I don't even care that the page isn't straight because it's, it's all going to be, you know, it's all texture. I'm sure it's going to be huge with, I mean, even if I was to sort of stick that one on there. And then put that one there. And then put that one there. It already makes it bigger than it was. So, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference, really, to me. I think it just, like I, like I said, like, you know, pull some of the bits off. Makes it interesting. So I'm sure 
everybody has got old papers and old flowers just going to go through some of the items that i chuck in my fodder collage box just to give you a kind of idea that you know if you if you sort of see something when you're out and about i don't know if you go to car boot sales or antique shops or secondhand shops i personally love them you find the best things there uh, and you sort of like come across an old book that's got like really yellowing pages and stuff grab it because rip the pages out i mean you could always use the cover as well for a journal cover or like a traveler's notebook kind of cover you know with elastic where you just tuck the books inside so yeah everything can be used so i'm going to go through the stuff that i put in mine and then i'm going to show you what i do with them and sort of like make something like that um yeah, just going to chuck some of it together because then you can have another box with your, co your collage elements in there as well. So, yeah, I'm about to make your craft room even messier than it is now. <laughs> 